Hi folks, my name is Chris Evans. I'm the head golf professional here at Vasari Country Club. We've put together a fun video for you to watch that's going to educate you on the rules of golf, etiquette, and pace of play. I hope you enjoy. When was the last time you played? It's been a while. How you hitting them? Not good, man. It's going to be a long day. Hey Tanner, can you do me a favor and hold my bag open for me, please? All right. I'm gonna need some extra balls today, man. It's gonna be one of those days. Wait a days. second, wait a second, what are you guys doing? What? Don't you know that's stealing? It is? What are you doing with all those balls? I need extra balls because I need to be able to hit it over the water. Why? These balls only go 75% of the way anyway. Really? Yes. Is that why you can't get over the water? Yes. I guess I shouldn't be doing that. You have any balls I can borrow? Yeah, I got a couple for you. Thanks, man. Thank you. We've been waiting on you all day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be there in a minute. Unreal. One way to save a lot of time is everyone should be out of the cart on the tee box at the same time. Now what I'd like to talk about is relief from a penalty area. Option number one for relief from the penalty area is one, you can always replay your shot. Whether it be off the tee or in the fairway, you always have that as an option. Option two is if your ball goes into a penalty area, you find it and the ball is playable, you can play it. Option three is you take the point where the ball last crossed the margin of the penalty area. You can take two club lengths, no closer to the hole, drop the ball at knee height, and play from that point. Option four is you take the point where the ball last crossed the margin of the penalty area and a flag stick. You connect the two dots, you take a line from the flag stick and the point where the ball last crossed the margin of the penalty area. You're going to go back on that line as far as you would like. So you can go back 20 yards, 30 yards, as far as you like. If it means it gives you a nice line in the fairway, go for it. So that's option number four. So those are the four options for relief from a penalty area. Become familiar with them and you'll be well versed on how to handle most situations here at Vasari Country Club. Hey Chris, you see the game last night? Practice swing. No, 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 Chris. A whiff counts as a stroke. And please, for proper etiquette, please don't speak when other people are swinging. Okay, one thing that we see a lot here at Vasari Country Club is the ball coming up to rest against the edge of the car path. Let me show you how to proceed. You'll notice in this case, right off to the side we have a penalty area here. So usually when you're taking relief from the car path, the rule is that you can take nearest point of relief, one club length, no closer to the hole. So that's obviously not an option with the penalty area here. So what I would then do is go to the other side of the path take my stance first, then I take my, set my club, I get one club length from that point, at knee height, drop the ball, and then proceed to play without penalty. Now one thing to notice, I just did that and I'm a right-handed golfer. So a right-handed golfer gets to take their stance here, one club length, no closer to the hole, right? If I'm a left-handed player, from here, I take my stance, and my one club length is actually closer to the path. So from there, take your stance, one club length, again, always dropping at knee height, no closer to the hole, and go ahead and play your ball. Don't chunk it, don't chunk it, don't chunk it, don't chunk it. There's water to the right, I can't hit this right, I can't hit this right, but. Tanner, you stood over that for a long time, man. What were you thinking about? Too many things. All right, listen, save your thoughts for the range and play a game on the course. Don't think about the water on the right, the hazard on the left. Don't think about any of that. Just get out, flow, have a good pre-start routine, and have a good time. Thanks. Do you mind? 
shadow is right in my way. Yeah, when we're on the green, let's use good etiquette and not put our shadow right in people's lines. It makes it really tough to putt. Christy, you've got to try this new stretch I've been working on. You just cross your, your elbows over and grab your hands and go up and down. It loosens up your back so much, you'll never miss a putt again. You're standing in my line. Oh, sorry. You know it's not very polite to stand in people's lines when they're putting? You don't want to be the reason that they miss their putt. A situation that you'll most likely come across here at Vasari Country Club is a sprinkler head close to the green that interferes with your line of flight. So here you'll clearly see that this sprinkler head is right in my way of my line of flight for the shot to the hole. A local rule that we have is that if the sprinkler head is within two club lengths of the green and your ball was in within two club lengths of the sprinkler head, you get free relief from line of flight. Let me show you how that works. Sprinkler head here is clearly two club lengths from the green and the ball is clearly within two club lengths of the sprinkler head. So what I would do in this situation, I was gonna take my ball, nearest point of relief within one club length here, at knee height, drop the ball, that ball is now in play, and the sprinkler head no longer interferes with my line of flight. Hey man, put me down for a four. A four? Yeah. I think you're missing a couple there. That guy, I had for a four. I'm pretty sure you hit in the water twice, didn't you? Oh, yeah, I did, I did. Didn't I? It's very important to count your strokes accurately for a fair competition. What you got there? A lot of clubs, don't you think? Yeah, you know, I'm just trying to get prepared for my shot here. I'm trying to figure out what one to use. You got like 30 clubs. You know you're only allowed to carry 14 in your golf bag. I right? am, that's it? Yeah. Well, I need a club for every situation. Why only 14? Those are the rules. Maybe think about having one ready and not 35. Okay, that's a great idea. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you learned something about the rules of golf, etiquette, and pace of play. If you ever have any further questions, please feel free to contact us up at the golf shop. We're always happy to help.